Hello all, I am Spurti, Assistant Professor and Program Coordinator of Cardiovascular Technology Unit, Anapoya School of Allied Health Science, Anapoya deemed to be university. Today, I am here to introduce the innovative teaching methodology implemented in our department to master the echocardiographic technique and improve the practical experience of the learners. Echocardiography is a widely used non-invasive imaging technique that utilizes ultrasound waves to assess the heart structure and function. Usually, direct patient interaction provides practical experience in performing echocardiograms. The experience gained from real patient interactions helps bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application which are promptly acquired by, by our students. In addition, simulators offer a controlled environment for learning echocardiographic techniques without the immediate pressure of working with real patients. This allows our students to practice probe handling, image acquisition and interpretation repeatedly until proficiency is achieved. The goal of the sim lab is to enhance echocardiographic skills, understanding complex cardiac conditions and gaining hands-on experience in a controlled environment. We integrate simulators as a part of scheduled training sessions so the busy clinical schedule does not stop them from learning. We customize simulations to reflect specific clinical scenarios such as enlargement of cardiac chambers, valve dysfunctions, ball motion abnormalities, pericardial abnormalities and miscellaneous cardiac conditions which helps learners to understand how to handle diverse and challenging cases. Now, we would like to present a stepwise approach to routine adult echocardiography. So students, we will be learning a stepwise approach, how we routinely do an adult echocardiography. Okay, so first of all, we, we, even before we start this echocardiography, we always have to wear the gloves. Okay, so right now I'll be using my right hand, hence the right side of glove. You have to apply the jelly which is given for the echocardiography and first we will always start with the parasternal long axis view. Okay, parasternal long axis view, you are going to take the indicator towards your right shoulder and then probe at the third or fourth intercostal space. You are able to see? Yes, yes. So you have the left atrium, left ventricle, iota and the RVOT and the walls which are present are posterior wall and the septum. Okay. When you tilt the indicator towards your left shoulder which is 90 degrees, you will be getting the short axis at great artery level. This is at the aortic level. So this is the short axis at mitral level. Okay. And then we tilt the probe more anteriorly so that we get the short axis at papillary muscle level. And those are the two papillary muscles. If you tilt more anteriorly, you will be getting the short axis at apical level. Now moving on to the apical views. Okay. So apical views, you have to always make the indicator towards the left side of the patient and keep the probe at the fifth or sixth intercostal space. This is the apical four chamber. Right? You are able to clear the yes, see, right? Yes. Yes. And when you tilt this probe anteriorly slightly, you will be getting the five chamber. The same indicator you will be turning towards your left shoulder, eleven o'clock position, which is the two chamber view. And then you have the three chamber view. So coming to the subcostal, okay. Usually the probe has to be placed in the subcephoid position with the indicator towards left side of the patient, okay. So you'll be getting the subcostal four chamber where you can see the right atrium, that is the right left atrium, then the left ventricle and the right ventricle. When you tilt the probe towards the patient's head, okay. With the indicator patient with towards the patient's head, you will be getting the IVC, inferior vena cup. And you tilt the probe slightly towards your side, 
then you will be getting the abdominal aorta. Clear with the sub Yes, ma'am. Now we will be seeing the suprasternal notch. This is a suprasternal view where you keep the probe at the suprasternal notch and indicated towards the patient's left ear. Okay. So this is a suprasternal view where you will be assessing the ascending iota, descending iota and the branches of the iota. Okay. Echocardiography simulation labs are essential for developing and improving the skills needed for accurate and effective cardiac imaging. By practicing in a simulated environment, learners build confidence in their abilities before performing echocardiography on real patients leading to better performance.